Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nefo29, and here's what's in our backpack. Uh, we have lots of wood, actually. Um, got the go energy. Clothing is... I think it's doing all right. For the most part. Uh, we got a little bit of meat. We got some water. Um, we have four arrowheads. I have this. I don't know why. Uh, we got a red toolbox. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I picked up these off of the floor. Not gonna leave those here. Uh, we're on day 136, and here's our skills. Uh, mending is ever so slowly creeping up. Man, for the amount of times I've been attacked and had to repair clothing, I would expect mending gear. should be at five by now. <laughs> Hey, Copper, welcome in. How are you? Let's uh, go this way. Uh, we're going to go down into the basin. We'll make some arrows. We'll drop that toolkit off there. Obviously, the saplings as well. That looks like a sapling right there. Oh, and so we have to go to the Omega Bunker again. Which I'm told is the one in the airfield. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure if we're leaving here right now. I mean, after we go to the basin. Or if we're going to go and explore. I am supposed to actually kill a moose in every region. We haven't seen one out here yet. Um, oh, that's just a small tree that looked like a sapling from the distance. I was kind of wondering to myself, how the hell did I miss a sapling over here? Been past this like 17 times. Um, yeah, the thing with the moose, I mean, I'm not going to... I'm going to have a look in their spawn locations. If they're not there, I don't know. I'm not going to sit around, twiddle my thumbs. Because it could be days, it could be weeks before one finally appears. So we'll do what we can. But if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Uh, let's try and get in here before we start freezing. Um, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna leave those. Uh, let's just sleep for an hour. You can show where the basin moose is. Be warned, Glastrid won't enjoy it. Well, we may as well go down there. We're going to look around a bit down there. Shouldn't be too hard to find where he spawns, right? I mean, I guess if he's not there, it might be hard, but... I think we've been all over the basin at this point. So why won't Glastrid like it? That makes me think that it's somewhere where I'm going to break my bones. Oh, you've never seen me go to the moose spawn in the basin? Really? Have I not been throughout that whole basin? I don't know. Maybe I haven't. I always just thought I'd have, but... 
Do you dislike getting the moose there? It's a bad spot. It's a dirty spawn. Why would they do that? Every moose spawn should have a truck. 20 feet from it. So you can jump into it. I'm kidding, of course. I'd like to peek over the edge, but I really, really fear that if I get too close to that edge, it's going to say, nope, sorry, you're into a goat now. There seems to be a little lip down there. Getting the moose out is a hassle. One decent spot to hunt the moose. Gotta warm up somehow. Well, I haven't seen it. I I am still going to go check up there. I mean, we're obviously we're going to the basin, so we'll check the basin area first. And if it's not there, I will check uh, the location that I typically get it at. And I think if it's not there at that point, then we just prepare to leave. Um, I'm not sure we're doing too, too much today. What do we got? We got 29 arrows. What's the weather? Minus 41 feels like minus 10. Wait, it's so cold. I'm warming up a bit. I should have thought about this a little bit better and just ran. Then I can get here and uh, sleep. Yeah, what the hell? We'll take that. Uh, we'll just pass time. I think I'm going to run because we're almost full. Uh, our alertness is way too high for the time of day. Like almost noon and we got like a tenth or a twelfth it looks like about a twelfth let's run problem is that bear coat really restricts how much we can run but there is a rope down in the basin so we can always just go uh, latch on to it and Fill some stamina that way. <laughs> Knife of spider move. It works though, right? Better than running around in circles endlessly. <laughs> yeah, if you can have a rope in an area where you're about to spend the night and you gotta kill your stamina, that's I think it's the best thing to do. We'll find out you only grab onto it and if uh, at, at some point you slip and fall and it breaks both your legs, you're like, what? Eight inches off the ground. Hey. This this little area right here. I saw that back behind us. I saw that same shape. I did I did I remember because I when I saw it the first time I thought hey that kind of looks like a like you know some cartoonish Jesus bear God. face or something run Astrid just somersault your way down
All right, so this is the exit, right? Just over here. I've never felt so cold in my life. Right there. Do we go down right here? I think we go down there. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any scent. So there's nowhere to go that way, right? Like when we come down there, you can basically see the end of it. If I'm correct. The time is noon. I'm going to lay off of the running. Correct. Okay. So that means the moose spawn's got to be up that way. I get a wolf off in the distance. Now. If I go up here, am I going to regret it? Am I going to say, damn it, I did it again? I'm going this way. Oh, thank you for not going up there. <laughs> okay, I said I was done with the running, but we're like right here. Um... Let's uh, get a fire going. I wonder if I should use, why don't we just use those? If it's a hundred percent, why not? Right? What does it matter? All right. Uh, what are we Almost gonna do? Fire. This is temperature. Actually, let's throw the fur on there. Do that. All right, let's get the curables, whatever they're called, in here. Damn, I'm freezing. You can go there. Um, I kind of want to move these. I don't know where. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. I should have put that outside. I forgot I had it. All right, that's a little bit better. And we'll keep. I'll put those out on the porch. I think. The porch is going to be our storage area. Um, it seems like a nice place, but 
this building kind of sucks, to be honest. Just because of the lack of storage. I mean, there's, yes, there is the three boxes to put stuff in, but um, I'm not really a fan of that. I would prefer one big box. Let's drop all of that. Um, actually, let's get one of you going. And we'll do that. So we got an hour 24. Uh, arrow shafts. You use the ne the big box next to my fire. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I I guess it would work. I just prefer it to be indoors. Eight till melted, so uh, we should be able to do an arrow. I'll just keep doing water, I guess. Let's do that. Uh, actually, let me check. Do I have? I do have another one. Oh, but you know what I don't have? I probably don't have any more shafts. No, I don't. Well, let's do that. I'd rather have the hooks than a whole bunch of, well, than a couple pieces of scrap. Uh, move you guys. So I can see what I have. One of these is a partial. 653 is the one, right? Yeah. Today's word is subsume. Throw you down. And I guess you can go there. We got one on the front porch, so. Uh, we got 10 till melted. We got a lot of time before that's done. Uh, we got a lot of cloth. Uh, the water is really weighing us down. Which means to consider or include something as part of a more comprehensive one. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> right, I got nine. Do that. All right, let's go this way. Well, uh, wonder if I can drop any of this. Game. Okay, let's go this way. Hey, XM, thanks for the lurk. You have a great night or a great day. Can you subsume bacon in your meal? Oh, he saw me. Oh, come on, boy. I should have dropped my sticks. 
Because I'm going to want to pick up a bunch. Now I want bacon. I was going to say, what the hell is that sound? <laughs> Is the water got a deer over there somewhere? There's one. Oh, it's a big, fat, juicy buck. We're gonna wait. He ran off anyway. We're gonna wait. I mean, if there's a moose, then we're not gonna really worry about. These little deer. And go after the big deer. Oh. You always subsume that XM will be enjoying curry. <laughs> not seen any moose markings but I'm horrible at spotting moose markings to be honest probably not <laughs> great usage on your of the word on your part hey I don't I still don't actually understand what the word means so <laughs> I'm going to guess it's probably up there. No? That would be a pain in the butt trying to drag it down a hill. Oh, you've never seen moose markings in Sunder Pass. Okay. I'm going to go this way because I'm pretty sure I've never actually consciously gone this way. And I'll be honest, I didn't really know that this area existed. I kind of thought that the, the basin was just basically a big little, a big little, uh, an oval kind of, right? Like an elongated oval. I didn't really think that there was more to it. Where'd it go? There it is. I'm trying to... There's no trees in all three of the moose spawns. Interesting. Uh, it's getting late and we're getting cold. I might have to turn around. Oh, that goes up there a bit. Got a deer. Oh, is that a sapling? It is. Hello, sexy.
All right, this seems to be as far as we can go. Hey. Is there a big chunk of moose meat on here? No. All right, let's go. Um, I'm going to run as much as possible. That wasn't very much though, was it? <laughs> like take five sprints and start huffing. I don't know why I'm grabbing sticks. It's just a, a, a habit. Yeah, I never... I mean, aside from that sapling, what is there actually up in here? Oh, so cold. Don't know. I'm not far from the moose area. I would guess that it's over that way. There's the deer area. Yeah, we'll come back in the morning. Hopefully it's nice clear weather. Um, it's just, I don't know. When it's snowing, I always expect a blizzard is on its way. Hey, Eddie, welcome in. How many branches? There's lots of branches. <laughs> Yeah, it would have been nice if we got here a little bit earlier, but I think it's time to go home. Home being the the cabin. There's another deer over there. Yeah, you can see already the visibility is changing. I'm gonna take this damn bear coat off so I can just run. What's the difference, right? We're already freezing. Alright, I'm actually gonna put it back on because we gotta wait for the stamina to regenerate, but. I might take it off for a brief moment to let more stamina regenerate. There are caves about, but directing you when it gets dark is not easy. Yeah, I hear you. I'd like to explore this. Like, I, I honestly didn't realize this area went on this far. I'd like to explore it in the daylight anyway. Take you off. Get some more. And maybe actually run. Alright, let's go. I saw somebody complaining about this on like on a forum somewhere about the how the running you can run for like 20 feet and then you're done hey I know where the cabin is <laughs> um, it was something I never really thought about right but now that you think of it like we're running from this tree to like that tree what is like will and astrid both smoke in three packs a day or something that they can't run more than 20 feet let's 
go. I don't know that they're supposed to be fit, but I don't know. Hey, I mean, what's our weight? We're at we're carrying 51 kilograms as well. Um, let's do I have sticks on the ground? I do right there. Oh, look at that. 29. Um, you guys go there. Let's get inside. Yeah, it's that's 51 kilograms ain't nothing to sneeze at. That's a lot of weight. Why did I aim myself there? <laughs> As I wanted to aim myself at the bed so I didn't have to search around for it and then I aimed myself at the desk instead. Oh, and I have eight kilograms of water on me. Uh, let's just go to bed. So yeah, after taking a couple of moments to think about that, maybe running 20 feet with 50 kilograms on yourself. Ain't easy. I don't know. I've always said though, it, like Hinterland tends to put a lot of thought into the things that they do and the reasons for this or that. So. Yeah, this room has a TV. Relationship killer. <laughs> Television in the bedroom. Alright, let's uh We need we need more daylight. I know I'm using my good hatchet. But I don't care. I did it. Uh got 96. Sharpen that up. I'm not sure I can carry much more. All right, let's get outside, grab some meat, and get going. Um, I actually, we have seven of those. I'm going to take those because, like, what if we find a moose? We need a fire. I don't think I need seven liters of water on myself, though. I'll put a little bit here. Right there. Um, I don't think it's too terribly cold. I make sure that my, okay. Uh, feels like minus nine. All right, let's try this again. So Mert said something like there's, uh, two cave entrances down here. Sorry, I didn't get to read that whole, uh, Comment. Two ponds you can fish in. Two cave entrances that can take you up top and the moose. And can be some random bags about a boot. All right. 
Ja. Let's go see what we can see. Uh, we're going to kind of stick to the right hand side this time because last time I was on that side. Is that a cave right there? check this out this is where you all start snickering thinking hey you've already looked in here all right it's one of these caves wow I can't see nothing Where does this cave go? Is this the one that leads us to up, up top? I don't want to go too bad. Is it childish you like hearing Canadians say about nay? <laughs> Not really. Okay, this does go up top. Okay, we don't want to be in here. But, who knows? Well, damn it. We gotta warm up anyway, so we might as well do a little bit of exploring. Maybe, who knows, maybe we find a chunk of coal, right? Or maybe we don't. I'm gonna turn around right away. Yeah, I'm just turning around. I don't want to waste my fuel in here. We are completely warmed up. And so the other cave would just be a regular cave. I just walk into, go to the back and get warm. Oh, interesting. If you keep walking left-ish. Uh, you should end up at the other base and cave entrance. Okay, so they both tie up to this. It's, it's not just like a regular outdoor cave. Interesting. And... Yeah, this ain't gonna help. So much for exploring this in the day when we can see, right? Let's go that way. Your direction was going to be... See the big bridge? Below that is the moose. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we can't see anything. up ahead it's a 
formerly big fat juicy buck. When I turned left, I was facing where the moose basically is. You love the name of this place, Giant's Thumbprint. I'm glad you made that comment because I didn't actually see what the name of that was. Uh, that's your girl. Don't worry, I'll go get her. <laughs> I'll take care of her for you. running right to that one. Uh-oh. Hey. Sorry, Mr. Mr. Buck. Oh. Did you just take down the buck? I don't think that's a buck. R Ravaged carcass. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. It's not ravaged, is it? You haven't seen the wolves take down deer yet? Like ever, or in your game, we, they take them down in my game all the time. At all, but referring to the game. Yeah, I have, uh, Several times we, we, we chase, we either chase the deer into the wolves or, oh, let's go up here. Or we draw the wolves towards the deer and hope they latch on. Juniper runoff. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen it. You're just forgetting. I can't feel my hands. I used to not try, uh, I used to not really keep track of deer and, and rabbit kills because of how many times I would lure a wolf to them. So the number could be like 20, but I might only have killed like six. Ahead is the moose spawn. Everybody quiet. Do I have to go up there? I want to go this way. Why do I have a feeling there's going to be a cave in this area? Is it just me hoping? This little pond is the moose spot. Ogre's teardrop. Nice. Alright, well, I don't see any benefit to going around this and just see death 
Well, no moose. I do think you have like I think it's a good area to hunt depending on where the actual moose would be but I think you have enough little areas I want to go up there I think you have enough little areas to hide or or be in safe places that in terms of dangerous i don't think it's too dangerous but yeah bringing the moose down that big hill that we were trying to climb up we all we we found one spot where it's like nope you can't even walk up this part so i can imagine that's going to be fun with the sled okay i thought this looked like there was a little nook in there but i guess not All right, let's go back to the deer. Oh, I want to go up there too. Um, we need a fire to warm up, but I kind of want to go make that fire at the deer. You killed the moose from the rock jutting out. Oh, I can't see that area now. sounds I'm hearing. You hear that little bit of crackling? Interesting. I wonder if that's that crackling sound is uh, the frozen waterfall. I haven't really seen that before um, anywhere else. At least not that I remember. It probably is. Probably like 16 of them. I'm an idiot and I don't remember any of them. Okay, I think this is where I came in, right? And I think the deer was on a plane that was flat. We can get a fire. The difference between a moose and a deer is a moose is just the largest deer. Elk are up there too. Elk are huge. This is the area, right? Yeah, right there. Okay, good. I got a sneaking suspicion that if I start harvesting this guy right after I make a fire, I'm going to end up with a blizzard. Uh, sorry for calling you a guy. Put you right there. I have to check. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll go with one for now. That Yeah, that's enough. Uh, do we have scent? We have you. And now we don't have you. Alright, 
the deer is the priority. Um, yeah, let's let's cook two kilograms. The wolf and deer are facing in the direction of the other cave. We got forty minutes on there. Murder wants a stretch. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take all six. Oh no. in the direction of the other cave I don't know I don't want to go searching for a cave yeah I don't know what made me think a blizzard was on its way but um, I think the dumbest thing I could have done right there was forward that meat when it had 11 minutes I should have put a uh, a tea down to drink. And get a little bit more warmth. Uh, well, I know that one cave is somewhere over here, but the thing is... I don't know where. I mean, maybe if I get over here on this side, it'll help. That is the wrong sound effect. That's the sound you get when the blizzard's ending. And I'm pretty sure it's not ending. Alright, in my mind, I think I'm walking to the side of this little ravine. Oh, hey, hey, hey. There it is. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know it's over here, but I think it's over here. Come with me, you'll be you'll be astonished at, at how freakish this is. I just feel I'll be safe if I go this way. <laughs> you, 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 you see what I mean though? Why they have to fix this? Can't see five feet in front of your face, but you can see a cave entrance from a hundred yards. Oh well, it saved us some condition, so... What's the time? Midday? There we go. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Uh, well, this time... Let's walk around. Can't start a campfire indoors. It's not one of those kind of caves. Uh, there was an area just outside the door, though, that looked like uh, might be a nice little sheltered spot. But last time we were kind of going towards the left. Why don't we kind of... Oh, right. Yeah, there's a campfire in here. Those people must have had a permit. They must have been the lawmakers. Like, we'll have a fire, but nobody else is allowed.
Now, when you say there's a couple of campfires inside here, no, I didn't. I didn't miss the turn. I'm going to the right this time. But when you say there's a couple of campfires in here, it makes me think this is a big cave. I want to I want to go this way and see where this goes. This is a big cave. There's light up ahead. Seems to be an exit up ahead. Where are we? That kind of looked familiar. I'm not sure I can carry much more. This is the shortest path to another exit. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to climb this, but we're not actually going to be able to see where we actually are. Yeah, that's what I thought. We've been here. Oh, I missed it. Well, it's a goddamn freezing. I assume that means when I'm outside, right? To the right, there's a winding road up the mountain. All right. Now, the only problem with that one fireplace or the fire pit that we saw, it's so far from the exit that I don't know what the weather's doing, right? Go this way. Hypothermia risk is gone. Is my pointer. I'm going right. Uh, I'm expecting that I'm gonna be coming back and at that time I'll grab oh come on please. You can't do this. It's not fair. One thing's for sure I shouldn't be able to mistake that that wood for something that was naturally in the cave right oh my god all right 
I'm calling that off. Um, I'm gonna. I'm going back to get my wood. This is just a labyrinth. Why? I don't like these. I like the nice ones. Um. I have one more, right? I only picked up the one, right? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna go straight. See where this goes. Right now, I wish I had a whole bunch of sticks. Uh, the reason I called that off is because I didn't see that I was going to get anywhere by leaving that, that reclaimed wood. And I figured, why why continue going if I'm, I'm going to get three quarters of the way and have to just turn back around? Uh, if I had like 20 sticks or so, I would have kept going. that this isn't the entrance that we came in. still we can't make a fire in here uh, I'm gonna try and get back and find that other fire it almost nighttime if I had visibility I would just probably exit out that and go see where we were but can't really see in a blizzard the blizzard bully okay I think I should be able to find my way back um, I'm not terribly worried about getting lost so there this this cave system has three three exits so we've basically found all three We got the one that we came in, the one that was over the... And, okay, this is where we go. This way. One is up a rope climb. But I found two. I found the one that leads us to the rosehip climb. So there's four? There's a rope. It's one of them caves. Oh, okay. I didn't notice it. Like right before you put that, you said nope, four exits. All right. Well, I found three of them. I don't want one that's up a rope because that's going to take us nowhere that I want to be. Uh, I kind of want to get back to this entrance and 
I actually, when I made the turn to come this way originally, I thought this was taking me over to the, uh, to the fire pit, but obviously it wasn't. I think this is where I made that turn that goes up to the other exit. I got to go a little bit further this way and then go to the right and then I should be okay. Should be. We'll see if that's actually gonna happen. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that's where we came in. So I just keep to the left, I guess. I thought it might be a little bit easier than this to find. Apparently not. Alright, here's... This has got to be the turn, but this is where we came from. No? think I would recognize any of these and I don't every one of them looks the same to me This is where I thought the fire pit was. Am I not even in the right area? Is Am I actually going right back where I was? I should just go to the back and just go make a fire outside because we're getting to the point where we're going to have to start chowing down on some cattails. I don't want to do that. And I don't want to take too many of these branches because I'm just going to get lost. Like, well, that's a sure sign that I haven't been here. If the music would kindly shut up, I can hear the weather. I was there, I just missed that. I see. Well. I'm hoping that took me in a big circle. This looks like where I was. I'm going back outside. I gotta get a fire and cook some meat before I lose my well fed. I don't wanna sit here and eat a bunch of cattails. Can't add boring on top of more boring. Oh, I'm starving. Eh, shut up. Bring sticks next time, Astrid.
Yeah, I hope this is where I, this is going to take me to the exit. You don't think this is boring, you're giggling. I think the masses would say walking around aimlessly inside of a cave is boring AF. I know if I was watching this on YouTube, I would shut it off. All right, this is the exit. I'm going outside, I'm cooking food. I'm not looking for that fire pit no more. Still got a little bit of daylight. Maybe if I'm lucky, the blizzard will have died. I'm gonna conserve some of my fuel too. There we go. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. This is where I thought I could get. I don't think it's gonna let me know. Well. we go this way uh, the cabin should be on the right hand side of this right is that right or is that wrong I don't know I it's either on the right or the left because I really do oh look at you Freezing and starving almost. But we got time for you. Do I if I don't warm up soon? Can I get a fire by the by you? Uh, let's do that. With the amount of time you walked in a circle in that cave, you could have explored it to the fire pit. Well, obviously though, if I'm walking in a circle, it means I don't know where I'm at. So I can't really explore to anywhere. Oh, you stupid game. There. Get some of this on here before we lose our well-fed. Um, yeah, and if I don't know where I'm at, I'm not going to sit there walking around in there for an hour because, like I said, it's boring. I'm not accomplishing anything. And I can't cook. I thought that second time I went in, I thought I was going to. I'll do anything for a drink right now. I thought I heard a strange sound behind me, like a bear. But there's no bears here. I hope. <laughs> oh, I got a drink. Should I forward it? Oh, we still got fire, so...
Damn it. Oh, copper. Why? Oh, now it's nighttime. I'm glad that was a sound alert. Uh, before I leave this spot. Let's do that. Oh, right in the nick of time. Oh, take your pot, fool. Okay, let's go. This is where we check our clothing and find out because we're by the waterfall. We're soaked. Because <laughs> I'm so worried and, and I'm doing great. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right. This way. Somewhere this way. Did the blizzard end? It did. Thank you. Oh, hey, and there's my cabin. Oh, two bucks outside my cabin. Um, hey, hey, cancel, please. One, three bucks outside my cabin. This guy's like, I heard a noise. He stop. He's gonna stop right when we're behind the tree. Oh boy, I can barely see you. Yes, come this way, please. There we go. Who's got three bucks? This guy. The only way that would have been better is if that guy got close enough that I could have one fire for all of them. drop cedar there I got 20 sticks I'm exploring that cave tomorrow and I'm gonna know where I'm going um, oh wait I still got that little bit. surprise three bucks in that little spot yeah ah come on wow I totally missed <laughs> there's the bed all right let's break 
these down. Well, I guess we're harvesting some deer tomorrow. And we have enough meat to make up a small moose. Yeah, let's just drink water. All right, it is morning. Let's do that. Let's do that. Fill the belly. And then go get some deer meat. It's still too early, but maybe if it's, uh, I don't know. This sounds like the wind is howling a little bit. I'm not sure I can carry much more. That might be okay. All right. Where does meat go? Um, I'm kind of running out of areas i don't want to mix like i want a spot where i can throw my meat down all right you're done let's go uh drink some water and There they be. Uh, do I care where the fire is? I care where the wind is. Because what's the wind? Minus 15. I just don't know which. You know what? I don't know which direction the wind is blowing. I don't want to make a fire just to have it blow out. My fingers are numb. So we can do that. We'll go inside, warm up. Come back and do it again. Um, I want to see though, like, I mean, if I can get away with not going inside and warming up, if I can just get a fire, but I don't, like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to build a fire and just have it blow out. Maybe here. I've never felt so cold in my life. Aha. On little fire. There we go. Maglins. Perfect. Do that. An hour forty. We'll do this. Oh. <laughs> I guess I should uh warm up first. I'll just do one later. Take six. Wow. I'm happy I got the three bucks. I'm not happy really that I can't put a fire in a decent position to not blow out. But. See. 
Did it. Died down a little bit. Uh, I, I'm going to forward it. It's 10. One of these has to give me a wind block. Unbelievable. I have no no idea what direction the wind is actually blowing. Not a clue. I don't want this fire way over here because it's... it's I mean, it, it served a purpose, but it's not really that useful. Well, all I can do... Is hope. Hope that if I put it by a tree, I can Come get on. a wind block on Come it. On. Here, let's pick that up. Let's do this. Now that I know I can rotate those, I'm probably always going to do it because... You know what? Get out of my pocket. Uh, do that. Let's take you. Yeah, the wind always rotates in this game, right? But it doesn't always rotate in the same direction, which is probably a good thing because, I mean, I think it would actually be pretty lame if it was always rotating, like, say, counterclockwise. It's better to not know. Uh, that's 40 minutes. Do that. Oh no. And as I figured. Well, at least it cooked. <laughs> There's a trail of uh, feathers. All right, we still got a lot of meat back there, but we gotta get over here. Get to the fire barrel. Typical Sundered Pass weather. Yeah, it's just brutal, eh? I'm not gonna be able to carry this load. The wind is minus 34. Um, I'm gonna take you off of there because I really am disgusted with how stupid that is to pull that out. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna pick it all up because I don't care. Let's go. Fire. I had to drop these matches somewhere. I kind of don't really want them, but at the same time, I think all of our fire strikers are pretty low. Come on, little fire. Let's do two. What did you? Hmm. Huh. Did it not say that I was using a cooked piece? Hmm. I am 
are actually quite heavy. Eat that. Uh, you gotta move this meat. The cooked meat can go over here. Oh, damn it. Why is the cursor not up here where it belongs? I drop one right from the middle of the pile. Uh, I'll do that for now. Um, actually, I'm going to keep two pieces because I'm just going to forward that. And we're not warm yet. Mostly warm. I don't want to go out here and take like two kilograms and have to walk back. You're primarily done, right? We don't have the guts, but I don't care. Whoops. There. For starters, I want to... Hey, now I know which way the wind is going. <laughs> Your first priority nowadays is two kilograms of meat to cook, then deer hide, then the rest of the meat, and then depending on where you are, the guts. I, I tend to go for the meat first. And I don't know that the way I'm doing it is the smart way, honestly. You're cooked. Um... Just because if it's a situation where I had to look for it for a while, um, ooh, let's go inside. Yeah, if I had to look for the animal for a while, it might be a while before, uh, or sorry, um, it might not be too long before it's about to, uh, ruin the carcass and I could lose the hide and guts there's something I can do in here there's a shelf to break down do I care about shelves in here I don't care about the chair let's do that oh I should have oh damn it uh oh okay good I didn't know how long that was to break down the chair. Uh, we got lots of time on there. Sometimes you just take the hide. Hey, I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to get like one kilogram and pretend I'm good with that right there that says raw that says cooked why is that Is it me? I don't know. Is that just telling me what it's gonna turn into? I don't I don't know. Is it something I've never noticed before? I need to get that skillet. Wow. Is that really? That's how that works? That's what it is? That's what it'll turn into? I don't think I've ever noticed that before. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. It makes sense now.
Yeah, because the mushrooms say that it'll turn into a cup. Right? And you're gonna turn into a cup. Ah! There you go. Sometimes I just don't pay attention. My eyes, whoops. <laughs> My eyes are on the top left in that screen. I never really look at the... Oh, don't do that one. Do this one. That way they're both done. Makes sense. It does make sense. What are these nasty ones? Get those out of there. Clothing's all right. Ew, green meat. Eat green plants. Oh, blizzard is done. How long is that? 51. Hey, that's not what I asked it to do. What's the time? Oh, why does it gotta be nighttime? If I can drop any of this gear. All right, well, let's just keep doing this, I guess. Damn it! I put water on there. I don't really need the water because, if you remember, I got water. We still have 2.6 on us. Oh, but you know what I can do, I guess, before I forget. Let's put you on there. Here, 26 minutes, let's drop. I want that cooked one. Let's go get, I believe we still have one full deer, don't we? You're done. Unless I unless I'm taking guts, right? You're done. You're done. And you are maybe half of you plus the hide. Way up in the sky. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I don't care. Forty five minutes. Alright, let's run. Am I wearing my coat? Because why Why does it feel like I have way more stamina than I, I used to? I'm going to do that. I don't know if that piece of meat was cooked. I think it was. I right, get rid of this one. Plants are good green, not brown. Opposite of meat. <laughs> we got some meat, people. We got a little bit of meat. 27. I'm just going to forward it. I don't think there's any wolves around, so I'm not terribly worried about the scent. Uh, what do we got left? 49. You know what? I'm just going to cook it all. Pot. That's all I got. 
I'm gonna move you to the front so I don't forget you. I think I already have one up here, don't I? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna put you down here then. <laughs> uh, where's my meat? You're all cured. I mean, honestly, these can probably go into that big box by the fire. Let's do that. I want to move this over here. Eat you. And I'll drop all these ones. Bedtime. Can I get in here this time? Ah, I found it. All right. I think I'll end this here. So for those of you on YouTube, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow.